Okay, we're making wax melts again today. Um, I forgot to say hi, hi everyone. Welcome to Weedy Secret. So we're just pouring a uh, Dolly Rocker, which is a Lily Flame dupe, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, I did make some bath bombs with this, but it discolours terribly, uh, which is very unfortunate. But it's not going to discolour in the wax. So those people that got a sample of Dolly Rocker and desperately loved the smell and couldn't wait for me to make something else with it, you've now got that fragrance in wax melts. Over here I've made some more Aqua de Parma because the ones I made before are all gone. Uh, we've done some, some Rockstar and some snow fairy and over here we have legend i call it legend uh, but it's actually like dior home aftershave which is one of my favorite aftershaves it's absolutely gorgeous people who have been around uh, watching me for a long time might remember that one and um, so we'll continue to get some more done <clears throat> so I realised that actually putting the glitter into the wax works better. If you sprinkle it on the bottom of the mould, it tends to clump up in areas and uh, you end up with craters in your wax melt. So I put it straight into the wax and hope that it makes a big difference. Just trying to get them as aesthetically pleasing as possible. And these are Rockstar Wax Melts. They might look red in the video but they're pink. I've also realised it's best not to overfill them because if they flow over, uh, they, well you have to cut them off to be able to wrap them neatly. So that's the Rockstar melts. Definitely look red. Hopefully they won't when they're uploaded but they, they look red through the screen. glitter for this one is Tangerine from Glitter Express and these are Snow Fairy wax melts And I'm pouring at 64 degrees. It says to pour between 60 and 70 degrees. So let's hope we don't get any frosting this time. On these two fragrances, um, Snow Fairy and Rockstar, I've actually remelted them because they did get some frosting. So I'm just double checking. That's the good thing. You can remelt them carefully. Don't overheat them because it'll ruin the fragrance. If you heat it up too much, it'll flash the fragrance off. You'll see it uh, literally steaming off the top of your wax. So ha same happens with the. Uh, melt and pour soap now that one isn't very full uh, so I'll just use that as samples 
So I've been putting some samples in with people's orders. So you see the Rockstar have practically set already. Doesn't take long to set at all. This wax, which means you can make loads in a day. The only problem I have is I haven't got enough moulds. Uh, so because these have been so popular, really, really done well with them. Uh, only £3.50 a bar. Um, because they've been so popular, um, I think I'll buy some more moulds and uh, then I'll be able to make even more in a day. Okay, now we are pouring sour watermelon candies. This is a nature's garden fragrance. You might be able to get... Um, this fragrance in the UK, because Nature's Garden is a US company, um, there's a company on Facebook called Sell The Smells, and they have a, a really good selection of Nature's Garden fragrance, fragrance oils. Most, well, all the best sellers are there. And it's enough to keep you going. Uh, because shipping is really, really expensive from America to the UK. It's it's more than double. If we order from the US, it's going to cost you more than double what US customers pay from the UK to the US, which is crazy to me, but that's the way it is. I just thought this would look nice as a yellow and it's very very sweet alike. Just as it says, sour, sour watermelon candies. Very sweet, sparkling, uh, very citric acidy. You can imagine putting them in your mouth and making your mouth tingle. That's what this uh, melon is like. It's different to the watermelon that I do. Okay, so I've got Kenzo flowers this time and I've added some silver glitter. Oops, I didn't check the temperature. Oh, it's 70. Can I risk it? I'm going to risk it. It's dot on 70. We're using the lovely violet colour from Becro. Becro candle colours. B E K R O. Link in the description box below. Uh, supplies for candles supply those colours, and they are really, really nice. They work very well with um, with the golden wax four nine four or any soy wax I love this smell I haven't done it for years and years and years but I noticed that soap supplier uh, sells it um, so I thought I'd give it a try I love the one that I used to get from Just a Soap it was absolutely stunning um, this is very 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 nice not quite as nice as the the Just a Soap variety uh, but they don't do it anymore and you know I've changed my fragrances up over the years uh, but I just fancied some of this because I found a, an old piece of soap with this fragrance in and it is absolutely beautiful. It is very floral, uh, but it is delicious, absolutely delicious. Obviously you don't eat it, um, it's just a gorgeous smell. Anyway, I think I've sold that fragrance to you. So we'll get on to our next wax melt. OK, 
Okay, so I'm just unmolding the dolly rocker now. No frosting. That smells amazing. I don't know if you're familiar with uh, Silk Magic, but that's where I got this fragrance from. And it's absolutely gorgeous. I have to say, I, I'm pretty sure that Silk Magic sell the strongest fragrances in the UK. I'm absolutely certain of it. They are excellent quality. Okay, so unmolding the Rockstar ones now, they are perfect as well. A lot better. So it's definitely about the temperature that you pour. Someone did mention something about the temperature you put the fragrance in at, so that could possibly be an issue as well. So they just look so much better. It's weird, you would think like once you've had the frosting to remelt and then repot and unmold, you would think it would happen again. So that's one good thing with wax, like with soap, you can't really do that. And if you're wondering where the moulds are from, if you haven't seen uh, one of my wax melt videos before, these moulds are from a company called SiliconMoulds.com. Um, they sell absolutely loads of good quality silicon moulds, obviously. Okay, so we're unmoulding the Kenzo flowers now. Seems like I've got it down. It's surprising what you can learn when you set your mind to it. I'm really chuffed as well that you don't need to put these in the fridge or the freezer. So it's the Golden Wax 494. I'll put a link to the wax in the description box down below. not ready to one more these ones yet but make sure when you're making them you put a little note on each one so you know which fragrance is which because I don't know if you're anything like me when I'm trying to smell lots of different fragrances one after the other I'll just lose all sense of smell I do have um, a container a tin of coffee here and that seems to help a little bit, but I'm just not, I'm not brilliant at deciphering smells. Some people are fantastic, uh, but I'm not one of them. So next we'll unmold the, um, the love spell, which I've done in a pale pink and uh, red glitter. I'm just using 
my scalpel to scrape out any little extra bits of wax that have gotten stuck in the corners when I've unmoulded. The Kenzo, I must have just unmoulded them a little bit too soon. don't need to wash them out in between uh, making different smells or anything like that okay so this one I've put the slightest amount of, of uh, violet colour in and I'm also using, I guess it's it's slightly silver glitter with some white mica in there as well. And the smell is fairy dust from Silk Magic. Now this uh, fairy dust, I don't know if you've heard of Lily Flame Candles, uh, but this is a dupe of fairy dust from Lily Flame. And when I had my shops, I used to sell Lily Flame candles and this uh, was their best seller, this smell. So now you can get it in wax melts. Now I truly believe that wax melts are the strongest way to fragrance your home. Um, you know, I used, before I was the cupcake queen I was known as the candle queen because I loved candles so much. Um, so I love home fragrance, absolutely love it. And so um, as far as um, candles go or fragrance diffusers or even plugins, the trouble with plugins, they never. Ha the smells are never that great because it's you're talking about Glid and companies like that that you can find in the supermarkets. Um, but once I bought a, an oil burner, a wax burner, a wax melter, shall I say, which is so cheap. If you're in the UK, if you just go into Home Bargains, they've got them for about two quid, that's all. Um, once I tried a wax melt, it was phenomenal. The um, the strength of fragrance that you get from a melt. So that's our fairy dust wax melts.
Okay, so we've got a few samples, little bits of leftovers, some deep, some very shallow. Um, they're just going in with people's orders, that place orders at the moment. Uh, when they've gone, they've gone. And um, this is what the, uh, I always want to call them bath melts, but the soy wax melts for boi boilers. Oil burners. And um, this is what they look like without the foil on there. So we've got Aqua de Parma, we've got Dolly Rocker, we've got Rockstar, Dior Home, Snow Fairy, Love Spell, Kenzo Flower, Sour Melon, Fairy Dust, Yummy Yummy. These are all going out as a wholesale order and I've given them a sample so they can the customers can have a sniff of them when the shop opens up again and then I've got some others over here that I've made I haven't put the labels on them yet espresso martini fairy dust yognog these are just extras aqua de parma and then these are all the leftovers from what I've made over here so that's uh, my latest bath. I why do I call them bath melts? Soy wax melts. Um, a fantastic buy on the website, and if you want any, just pop over there, and we'll get them sent out to you. I have got a little bit behind with orders at the moment, so my apologies on that. I'm trying to get caught up. I'm nearly there and um i hope you all have a fantastic weekend everyone this is karen from eden secret keeping you company and keeping you entertained during the lockdown have a great weekend and we'll be back very very soon with another video and i'll see you all later bye bye for now